And today's custom budget PC is packed into this Gamdius Aura PC case. A solid budget option that I've featured on this channel many, many, many times. So just a brief overview of the case, we have some really good cooling options with three 120mm air intake fans and a nice grill for air intake. Also one 120mm air exhaust fan back here. The fan color is controlled by the LED button up here on the PC case right next to the power button. And beside that we have two times USB 2.0, microphone and headphone jacks, and one USB 3. And this is a fairly compact PC case. So if you have a really long GPU, it may not fit. And this extra hard drive tray won't fit inside the case if you have a larger power supply. But there is mounting in the rear of the case for a 2.5 inch solid state drive or hard drive. And if you have a motherboard that supports multiple M.2 drives, it's really not that big of a deal. So let's take the side panel off and get a better look at the insides. Underneath this Thermalright Assassin Spirit V2 CPU cooler, there's an Intel Core i5-12400F CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads. Beside that is 16GB of dual channel Pinnacle Conduit DDR4 3600MHz RAM. And this would be a Zotac RTX 3060 Ti Twin Edge graphics card with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. And it's all packed onto an ASRock B660M Pro motherboard. That features some extra heat sinks and support for two M.2 SSDs. Speaking of which, we have Windows 11 Pro installed onto a 512GB Timetech MS09 NVMe solid state drive with PCIe 3x4 speeds. And powering it all is this modular Corsair RM750 750 watt power supply. And the rear I.O. of the motherboard features a HDMI and display port that we can't use with this particular CPU because there's no integrated graphics. 2x USB 2.0, 1 USB Type-C, which is 3.2 Gen 1 speeds, and 2x USB 3.2 Gen 1, RJ45 Gigabit Ethernet port, and audio jacks. And the graphics card has 1x HDMI 2.1 and 3x Display Port 1.4a. Let's check out the video rendering and video encoding tests. DaVinci Resolve 19 is loaded up with my usual 11 minutes of raw 1080p footage, and we're using the following settings for rendering. Let's see how long this one takes. 3 minutes and 48 seconds. So that's not a terrible time, I don't mind that. 4 seconds faster than my last test with a i5-10400F and a RX 6600. But it's 33 seconds slower than an i5-11600KF and the exact same 3060 Ti. Now we can test out video encoding with Handbrake using the usual preset of Creator 1080p60, testing raw CPU power. Here we go. 3 minutes and 58 seconds. So here's where we're finding some middle ground between the 12400F and the 10400F and 11600KF. Compared to the 10400F, we are 24 seconds faster. And compared to the 11600KF, we are... 47 seconds slower. If you just had this CPU installed, that's how long it would take. Of course, we have this 3060 Ti, so let's utilize that next. And the race begins. 51 seconds. So of course, that's substantially faster. And compared to the last time we tested out the exact same 3060 Ti paired with a Ryzen 5 5500, we actually beat the time by 3 seconds. And the last time we tested the exact same GPU with an Intel CPU, we actually beat that time by 1 second. I think that's just kind of serendipitous, but either way I'm satisfied with those results. And now let's check out the gaming performance. I finished building this PC on December 31st, 2024, but now it's January 1st, 2025. So this would be my first PC of 2025. If you have a similar setup going into the new year, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for checking out my video and I hope you have a great new year.